we're looking for the uh, smallest natural number. And y'all, again, a natural number is just a number like one, two, three, it's the positive integers. Uh, uh, N is just the set one, two, uh, three, and so on, okay? It's, it's a lot of people like to call them the positive integers. Okay, add infinitum here. Okay, now, what we're looking for now is the largest N that satisfies uh, this equation, that is the square root expression will eva evaluate to a natural number as well. Okay, so it's it's similar structure, but it's uh, more or less the same approach. Now, so to get things isolated, I squared both sides. I left out quite a bit of the work right here. I also used the difference of two squares results, but if you square both sides and get it, uh, collect like terms and all that, you get this expression right here, this greened out expression. Now this gives us quite a bit of information, okay? It tells us first of all that K is an even number, or right, which turns out to be rather useful, I guess, sort of useful. Now, a couple of observations that took me a long time right here is that uh, this piece right here uh, has to be an integer, of course, because everything around it is an integer. So the square root of 100 squared minus N has to be an integer. And also N can take on the values all the way up to nine, uh, 9,999. And that's just the, the domain of this function. The domain of this function stops at 100 squared, right? Otherwise, you're taking the square roots of negative uh, numbers. And so these are the possible ends, and these are the uh, these would be the possible square roots of n down here. Okay, so that's that's fairly straightforward if you, if you give it some thought. But it took me a while to figure it out, and and I also got some help from somebody on the web. Now, so since we want it to be, since we want uh, n to be the largest, it's clear that this expression has to be the smallest. It can be this entire, this expression right here, and it also has to be a square, okay? So what I do is I take the low end of these numbers and I place it right here, one, okay? This one right here, if we were looking for the largest, uh, this, if we were looking for the smallest, we would actually take 99, and the 99 would go right there, but we're, we're looking for the largest, and so it's they're, they're acting in opposite directions, sort of, and so that's where this comes from. So we're, now we're looking for the smallest even square greater than 202. Now notice that uh, 15 squared, uh, let's see, what do we got here? 15 squared is, is greater, right? But it's not even, okay? 15 squared is certainly uh, greater than 202, okay? Uh, because 15 squared is 225, right? But notice that 15, this 15 right here, is not even, okay? It's not even, and so we have to go up to 16 squared. See, 16 squared is the, the, the number, okay? 16 squared is the number uh, that, that gets it done. Now, uh, so I think, now, okay, I left that a little bit right here, but y'all, we got it down to this. This whole thing is equal to 28, and, and if you square both sides and isolate, you'll end up with n is equal to, uh, Let's see, we'll have 100 squared. Because when you square the radical, the radicand just remains preserved, right? So we'll have 100 squared. And then we had to square 28, so it'll be minus 28 squared. Okay, and I believe that came out to be 9216. 9216, 9,216. And notice that's consistent. The, the, the range of the function or the domain of the function, the domain of the function is actually from zero to uh, 100 squared or zero to 10,000. Okay, so this is just, it's inside the range, it's inside the domain, excuse me. Okay, it's inside the domain of the function. And this is the answer I got, folks, 9216. Uh, let me know. I, I haven't checked it or verified it. I, I think it's probably right. It's a similar logic to the other problem. But again, I'd like to know what you think. Thanks for viewing.